Hello everybody, my name is Dubs, and welcome to a brand new tutorial on Source Filmmaker. So in the previous episode or tutorial, I got quite a few comments below saying how do you apply a hat to a character or an animation? Well today I'm going to be showing you it in the Meet the Heavy preset. So this, this um, applying a hat can be very simple or very hard depending on how you want to do it, but today I'm going to give you the way I know. And I did get this away from a video a few weeks ago, so don't screw at me like I'm copying someone, because uh, obviously if you clicked on this video instead of theirs, well, good on you. So the first thing you want to do when applying a hat to a character is you want to make sure the character or whatever you're applying it to is in the clip you're you know highlighting. And for instance, I'm using the clip EFD underscore A, which is one of the clips in Meet the Heavy. So I'm going to select that, and as you can see, the heavy character animation what you want to call this is right here where it has, you know, all the toggles and everything for the heavy. So the first thing you want to do is you want to right click in this box here and push create animation set for new model. So when you first do this you want to go backslash and heavy backslash and I can't spell heavy backslash oh and I can't still spell heavy <laughs> backslash there we go and here we're going to get all the items all for the heavy so I'm just going to go down and try and find a hat um, I mean, there are absolutely thousands of them, or hundreds, but anyway. So, I'm gonna make him, I'm gonna make him Indian. So, I'm gonna push this open button, and then it should load the hat right up close to the camera. And obviously, this is not attached to the camera. Um, sorry, attached to the heavy. It's not even, to the, to Source Filmmaker, it's not even part of the heavy yet. So, the way you attach it is you wanna push this little plus arrow down here, and then the body, and then you wanna make sure you can see bip underscore head, and this is correct. So, on the heavy, you also want to do the same, but you want to go open up the heavy, go to body, and you can see bip head over here. So now you want to um, hold down and drag this to the bip head on the hat. So, yeah, it's a little bit confusing, but um, stay with me. So now, to the game, this is now connected to the heavy. So when the heavy moves, this will still stay, but it's not um, actually following the path from the heavy. So the way we do that is we're going to use this zero toggle up here, but the first thing you want to do is you want to push F3, which brings up this motion panel um, over here. So now you want to click on bip head on the hat, and you see this zero slider up here. No one normally points out that there's this zero slider, because I used to think it was this when I first saw the first tutorial. But you want to go to zero slider and you put it all the way to the right, and now you can see the actual hat is attached to the heavy. So you want to push enter to confirm the... Uh, process you did just did and you want to go away from the beginning of the clip and now you can see this hat is actually connected to the heavy and if I push play and this is my weapon she weighs 150 you can see it's actually attached to the heavy and he's moving around with it and it's always following his head but the only problem with this is if you go off another clip let me just scroll along you can see now it's not attached to him or well, this is because they are two different clips and I haven't actually found a way where you can apply them to all like loads of clips at once. So if you do know how to do this, please comment below, it'll be a great help and hopefully I might be able to upload a updated tutorial on how to add it to all the clips at once. So it's the exact same process with all the characters. If they've already got a hat on, um, feel free to watch another tutorial for that because I actually don't know how to remove someone's hat. It's pretty very simple. Maybe you might be able to find it out from watching this tutorial. Who knows? But um Guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If it helped, please comment below and please feel free to ask anything. I've been helping out people on the other video, but um, if you want any future tutorials either, please comment below. My name has been Dubs, and this has been another Source Filmmaker Beta Tutorial. Bye.